Hey guys. Okay. I'm gonna do my best to explain something deep. <laughs> and I look naked. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way to errands, but I just came out of meditation and um, just wanted to talk about heart saying in the universe and the power of this radiation and seeing like my whole life come together and how that happens and how you get to that part where you feel this and like it all becomes clear and click, click, click and all this stuff like we hear Eckhart Tolle and Oprah and all of this super soul stuff, right? Um, what's his face? Gary with the soul coming in alignment with your purpose. And, you know, I don't talk about it a lot and, um, I feel like religion shamed, right? <laughs> like I, I've, I've been turned off by religion my whole life. Like it just didn't sing to me like all this, um, Oh, just the patriarchy of it, I guess. And even I was thinking, so I was raised a Christian scientist and there was a lot of hoo-ha about that, right? There's, it's spiritual healing and all of that. And looking back, like my soul being in this moment and with these parents and with that upbringing and my grandparents and my family and really coming from that I put a quote in here uh, from Mary Baker Eddy and thinking about her. This is a woman in the 1800s that was writing about this stuff that we're having evolutions about now. And yeah, I was a teenager listening to this voice that wrote this stuff in the 1800s. And I was turned off by things that were of her age, right? Like as far as... Um, I don't know. Uh, I I just can't even tell you like things that just didn't sing to me and I didn't get it. And, but so much of it, I look back now is about spirituality and the heart sing. Like she, she got it. She was writing about it in the 1800s and putting it into a scientific statement of being, she calls it. And I'm like, Oh my God, <laughs> like this whole time I didn't get it, right? Like I didn't get it until I felt it because I need evidence. Like I tell you guys all the time, like when I, I need to read and understand something like about the brain, about, um, you know, understanding how the brain works. I'm like, Oh, now it makes sense. I get it. You know, I'm training the Neanderthal or, or what have you about the wheat belly and understanding what gluten is doing to my body, like having that science behind it. So until last year when I went to TM and I went to meditation and I don't, think it's the do all or end all and that you have to go to TM to find your heart sing and become awakened. I think it's out there in all, all ways. And if you guys are here following me, listening to me, you're starting to question this yourself probably because I talk about this shit enough. We all know it's about heart sing for me, right? It's about leading from that energy and putting that energy into the world. And now that I know and feel it and I get there in meditation, but it's because I prioritized myself and made space for myself to even get there, to even be still, to hear and feel. And you guys, so your body, when you're deep in meditation on this other level of consciousness, which is what transcendental meditation teaches you how to get there, and you'll hear... Oprah and Eckhart Tolle and all these people talk about the stillness and being one with the universe and the energy and the witchy stuff and the grounding. It's all like full circle, right? I just got lit up talking about it. It's all, it's all part of the magnificent and the magnitude of what we're here to express through our souls, right? And the concept of we are not spiritual, we're not material, we are spiritual. Yeah, because think about it. So our bodies are full of this fluid and this energy that we get these lightning bolts from the planet and we want to look good and feel good. But what is this body without that soul in it? When your soul leaves, your body's just your body's gone. Your body's dead, right? It's that energy that is in there aligning with your personality. <gasps> I know. I know. I don't know. Like There was so much that I was just radiating, you guys. Like, it's... Um, 
it's like finding that and being so sure in that. Like tomorrow's Mother's Day, okay? And so I've been thinking about, I, it just occurred to me today, this is my first Mother's Day without my mom on the planet in her physical being, right? And how memories are coming up and before it was Lexi across the ocean and Millie with me. And now I've got Millie across the ocean and Lexi here. And um, I want to do a blog post about motherhood. And I feel so close to my girls and to my mom and still to my mom. Like I know she is with me. I know we're part of this big universal mind, right? Like that is heart saying. <laughs> Do I sound crazy? So this this is a thing too. It's not like in my head, this isn't religious. This isn't, even though you can call it God, you can call it whatever. I like the universe and life force energy because for whatever reason, I just got so turned off by the whole God thing. I don't know, sitting on pews and having old men spew shit to you. Bullshit, right? <laughs> But it's not. There's so much good in there, right? But so where was I going with that? Oh, my God. Ah, just the heart singing and radiance and coming from love and knowing that universal happiness and being able to get that and feel it every day, you guys, that... And I don't always like come out of meditation radiating like this and it be that strong, but this was like... It was just so strong. It was... I, it was just like, go live and tell everyone about this, whatever. So someone needed to hear this. I don't know who it was. <laughs> Mandy, Gina, Sabrina, <laughs> Lady K, maybe one of you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so, I, I feel like there's so much more I wanted to say. Um, but just so interesting, right? Completely full circle. And now I have the scientific evidence from doing TM, from doing transcendental meditation, Soul Rocker, you're going to want to go back and listen to this because it just came out of meditation. Soul Rocker started TM, you guys. So to see if you get what I'm saying. And for those of you that meditate or are putting that in your habit stack, so important to block this time for yourself, to put yourself first. If I hammered nothing else this week, I hope that me first and you guys looking for windows to make time for yourself because as a species, we're awakening, right? It's changing. Like the world is changing. You're seeing it all over. Like we're coming into an era of the feminine, of love, of, um, of heart saying, I can't explain it other than heart sings that you just radiate in um, my heart sings. It's a physical sensation. I'm in, I'm not in a different realm. I'm not, not here. It's just an overall sense of well-being and happiness and everything's going to be okay. And you're being held and the whispers come to you. Like who doesn't want this? Like, you want this, you guys. I fucking promise you. You gotta go. <laughs> like, TM will get you there and it'll get you there fast. TM's right down the street, Lady K, and you haven't friggin' been? Don't make me fly out there to Tennessee, sister. When I am in my RV traveling the country, I, I might have to get licensed. <laughs> I might have to start teaching everybody this. Listen, this is the magic of the universe, right? So here I was, a little girl, listening to Christian Science, Mary Baker Eddy, and looking back now about what a powerful woman. She led millions into understanding the spirituality well before we were ready for it. We're just becoming ready for it. We're just awakening, right? We're figuring out that what we've taken from nature and put into hospitals, into medical facilities isn't healthy. It's not what we've created isn't serving ourselves, our bodies. Like we need to be grounding. We need to be connected to the earth. We lost all of this, right? Holy fucking squirrels, man. My mom made me do TM when I was eight. 
She was way, way ahead of her time. I was not the most popular kid. I love her for it now, but other kids weren't making yogurt. Growing alfalfas for outdoor learning yoga. <laughs> yeah, um, Millie's doing TM this summer. I don't know if she knows it yet or not, but I gotta figure out how to manifest that shit. I'm making it happen. Um, I just can't tell you how important it is. Um, and again, like, I think there's other ways to, you can get there through other meditation. I just had never been successful in other meditations and it was something I would seek because I love like yoga and I love that feeling I get after. And I'm like, I want more of it. Like I could tell I could touch the realm of it and that I wanted more of it. And, um, Wow. It was just, it was just really deep and all of that just coming to me today. I think it's a big part of, um, my purpose here and that whole history I had, you guys think about that. And then I'm experiencing this. I'm, I'm lit up right now talking about it. That's like, I call, um, you know, they're the whispers. It's it, it, when you talk about something that resonates to your core and with the universe, you call them chicken skin, uh, goosebumps, whatever that's a, and it's a deep goosebump, right? Like it's resonating through your body as you're saying it. And I'm like, I remember writing in my morning pages, you guys, like eight months ago, be like, don't let this be my message. No, I don't want it. Take it back universe. I am not, I am not a spiritual leader universe. Seriously. I'm resistant to this. Like, what is it? Spiritual leadership through weight loss? You find, by finding your soul, the, your body comes in alignment? Your physical self comes in alignment with your spirit? Is this what I'm here to tell everybody? Universe, come on. Could you give me something fucking easier? I was already an outcast like Sabrina growing up, right? Not going to doctors and stuff like that. And of course, as soon as I could do anything to debunk everything I was learning, I was doing it. And then I never rested. I continued to buffer, buffer, buffer my amazing soul and spirit. And finally, the universe smacked me the fuck up when I was 300 pounds and just wallowing around like a big crybaby piece of shit, right? I mean, look, I still have the same situation. I have my mom's dead, right? She passed away. I mean, that was pretty, you know, but it's true, right? Her body's no longer here. I still feel her love and radiance every single day. And she gave me this, right? This amazing sense of all of it in love. Like that came from my mom. This is why I'm so able to radiate, you know? I don't know if that sounded, but it is. It's not... It's not me. It's the life force energy that is just like, I can feel it radiating in me. I can't explain it. And for so many years, I buffered this with food and alcohol and overwork and ignoring it, not making time for myself to feel because I didn't understand how to feel. And that's part of the genius with learning like from Brooke and Corinne and Rachel Hart about learning how to feel and understand that I've been buffering. Like, not even knowing to get rid of that shit. I had to figure all of that out and start planning and put myself first to get to where I could feel the heart sing. Oh, my God. It's so good, you guys. <laughs> it's so much stuff. <gasps> I just am just amazed and grateful and overwhelmed. And I have so much love for everything, for you guys, for my kids, for... The life I've had for the life to come, for Slayer that I see five years from now on a stage railing thousands of Slay sisters going, oh, what's up, witches and bitches, right? Cussing and feeling the heart sing energy. Like, there's none of this, pu you're getting punished for saying the fuck word. Shit pisses me off. <laughs> Oh my God. It's, it's good stuff. You guys, it's really good. And that's all I got to get to Aaron's house. Cause, um, she made some exciting Slay sister stuff. So I'm very, I'm excited. I'm just lit up and I love the community we're building 
and um, it's just real. And I think like people that are here and following, and this is why this is it. This is what might make this a little bit different from other groups you've been in. It's this heart thing with the personality, right? It's the universe. It's the soul. It's the awakening. It's that message. So however you're going to figure out to do that and show up with your plan every day and make those baby steps to make time for yourself and create the inner space. You've got to create the inner space. Most important thing, the morning pages help you do that every morning, right? I do those three pages every morning and it clears my brain. It allows me to meditate better too. 5 a.m. club, you guys, creating your superheroes, like standing up in the face of adversity. All superheroes do this. All amazing leaders in our world, artists, they do this in the mornings. They clear their heads. They meditate. They do exercise. They do this in the mornings. So I don't know about you, but I want to be a fucking badass superhero. I don't want to be fat-ass Addie living in apathy. I'm so excited. And I can't, like, I hope you guys are excited, too. Like, you're starting to feel the tingles, right? If you don't have them already, I hope. That's, like, my biggest dream. Like, if everyone can feel this and understand that no matter what happens, it's okay. You're held. You're held by this force you can feel. And if you allow yourself to get there into this other realm of consciousness, you will feel it. There's no way you won't feel it through practice. Like, and it's not, it's not a cult. It's not hypnotism. It isn't. It's just teaching you to be still and you sit there in meditation. It's not, I'm not around a bunch of people. I'm not hoo ha and um, none of that shit. I sit with me in my mind for 20 minutes, twice a day. That's it. I, I just like, Wow. Sabrina, my mom still sends love and light texts to me all the time. I used to roll my eyes, but I heart it now. Sabrina, yeah. Well, sister, that's why we connect so much, right? That's interesting. Very similar. Um, Yeah, you through TM and then me through learning through Christian science, like the spirituality of it. And then the whole being shunned and feeling like outcasted because of it a little bit. Like our whole town was very Catholic and not that they judged me. I think I was judging myself now that I know more about my brain and my mind. And I didn't, I, you know, it sounds so born again, which I'm resistant to. I don't want people to be like, oh, she's just a born again Christian or whatever, because it isn't about that. It's about the life force fucking energy, you guys. And it's a real physical thing. It's a physical thing. This isn't about, oh, I all of a sudden believe Jesus came down from God and zapped on the planet. I believe Jesus was enlightened. And he had a badass story to tell everyone about being enlightened way before his time, right? But not this, like, I think there's, I don't know. That's like a whole nother spiritual level conversation, right? And I'm not down, I'm not, I I don't want to, um, I'm not judging people's religions and beliefs. And then that sounded judgy, totally. I'm not, totally not. I'm talking just about me and my mind and how it just got like fucked up with that I think because I couldn't believe it I still don't know if I believe all that but you know what I believe is when I get in that heart sing oh there's no fucking doubt the universe is talking to me there is no doubt in my mind a hundred percent our souls are lit up and they're here for a purpose and um, we need to get our personalities in align with them and get all this other bullshit out of our way. Our Netflix binging and our overeating and our drinking and our smoking and our pot smoking and our numbing out and you know whatever you are doing to push your soul's purpose down. Um, that's why you're learning to stop buffering. That's why you found fit and fat in the life coach school and me. And because we're learning to stop buffering so that we can listen to our souls. Craziness, right? That's it. Can someone write that shit down for me? (laughs) Okay. I got to go. Aaron, if you're on, I'm on my way. I promise. 
Krista, I'm rollerblading in my garage, amening you. <laughs> Sister, you got rollerblades? Krista, uh, Soul Rocker, I am so going to bring you on live and we're going to do a TM special episode some point. For sure. Yes, yes. My friends now tell me they thought we were weird but cool at the same time. My mom didn't care about small town peeps. She did her own thing and I was the one who judged her. Yeah. Sabrina. She was the original Starlight Rocker. Ha, <laughs> cool as fuck. I just got lit up, Sabrina. I totally did my slay sister. I am just lit up with that. Yeah. I, I completely get you and feel you. And here we are. Well, I don't know how old you are, but I'm like 46 and figuring it out. Mom knew, though. She knew. She knew when she left, right? I remember about two weeks before she passed, I was over there, and she was like, so, honey, and she wasn't fully Darcy, right? But she was like, tell me what you're doing. Aunt Mary said, you know, you're doing something with this website and you guys still on my Namaslayer page. She's the top. I had, um, sent her an invite and she never got to accept it to Namaslayer. She just was too sick to do that. Right. So every morning when I go in and log into Namaslayer, she's up there. And I smile and I radiate and I just feel her love. But I remember those two, um, a couple weeks before I was sitting by her bedside and I was just working and I was doing some Namaslayer stuff. And um, she said, now, honey, now tell me what this is. And I just said, well, mom, I'm going to blow shit up. You know, I've got to like tell everyone about this TM and all of this. And she just smiled and tears slipped down. And she just smiled. And I knew in that moment, you guys, I'm like, we're almost at the end. She was just smiling and the tears were just rolling down her face. You know? <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I was so lucky to have her. Just that amazing mom. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you. Wow. I didn't even know that was in there. You know, like it just have, and it's not sadness. It's gratitude and love. And I'm just so grateful. So grateful. Okay. That's it. Aaron, I swear I'm on my way <laughs> and we can cry together and meditate together. Cause I also sucked Aaron into doing TM. Although she approached me about it and started it. And it's, it's just a game changer, you guys, on so many levels. All right. <sighs> Thanks for being there, Slay Sisters. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for the hug, Sabrina. <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you. And um, Mini Slayer will be here tomorrow. We're going to do a Mother's Day Live, which also just got me thinking about stuff and missing Millie. And I'm working on planning her trip here this summer. And... Oh, I got to like figure out getting a plane ticket for her and all of this stuff, right? But it's all going to happen. I'm going to manifest the shit out of that because we're getting us some uh, Wolfie Diamond Slayer and Mini Slayer up in here this summer and we're going on adventures. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Bye.